Hello, and welcome to our Serenade video. In this video, we will introduce eSignature. With this option, you and your clients can now sign forms from the caseworker portal and from within the client portal. This avoids having to use a third-party program like Adobe to sign forms electronically. Let us log into the caseworker portal. Before we can sign things, we will first enable the setting that allows us signatures. This is located in the Admin Tools page. To access it, click on the Settings button on the top right and proceed to click on Administrative Tools. You are now in the Admin Tools page. From here, locate Application Settings. From the General page, go to the Forms section, and you will see the Enable eSigning Forms checkbox. Check it, but also, please be aware by enabling this feature, you acknowledge that the entities with which eSign Forms are filed do accept e-signatures. Once you agree and have this checked, you will click on Save up top. You have now enabled the setting. Let us now access a form to sign. Let us click on the Settings button on the top right to take us back to the Caseworker Portal. From the Caseworker Portal, let us access a case. Once inside the case profile, go to the Form section. From the Form section, open up a form. Once inside the form, locate a page you wish to sign. You will see a Sign Here button. Click on it. And by doing so, a pop-up box appears. You have a couple options in regards to your signature. You can upload an image, draw a signature, and lastly, type a signature. If selecting Upload, it will direct you to locate the image file of your signature on your device. If selecting Draw It, you can use your mouse, or if having a touchscreen device, you can use your finger or stylus to sign. This will come in handy when wanting to sign things on a cell phone or tablet. Lastly, if selecting Type It, you can type out your complete name and the software will create a signature for you. You have the option of selecting different styles to the right. Once choosing one of the three and signing it, you will click on Update Signature, and the form is now signed. We will save it and you can proceed to print with the signature. Let us exit the form. Whenever you sign a form, it will be logged in the Log section. It will tell you which caseworker signed the document, on what page, the section, and lastly from which IP address. This logging of the IP address is important to verify the authenticity of the signature. We'll go more into detail after seeing how your clients can sign forms. Let us go back to the form section. We will now send this form to our clients to sign. To the left, you will see some check boxes. Select the forms you want to send or click Select All to select all forms. Once you have your form selected, you will then click on Email Forms as Editable HTML. With this option, this sends the forms to the client in the client portal. A pop-up will appear allowing you to type out an email or select one already pre-created. We recommend using this area to direct your clients on where to sign the form. We also have a video for your clients on how to sign forms located in the description of this video. We recommend including it in your default message for your clients to see. Once you have your message typed out, you will finalize by clicking Email. Your client will now have those forms in the client portal. They will log in using their credentials. If the client is unsure if they have credentials, or you yourself are unsure you gave them access to the client portal, you can verify this inside the client's profile. Once inside their profile, go to the Client Access tab, and from there you will see if you have given them access, you can give them access if you haven't, you can change their login info here, and once saved, you can even email them the credentials. Once they have those credentials, they will log into the client portal. On the home page, they will see items in their inbox. They will click on it. From the inbox, they will see forms. They will click the open button. They are now inside the form. They can go page by page reviewing info. They will then locate the area to sign the form. They will see the Sign Here button. When clicked, it will bring a pop-up box, the same one you saw in the caseworker portal. From here, they will have some options. They can upload an image, type it, and draw it if using a touchscreen device. They will also date the form. Once they sign it, date it, they will then submit it back by clicking the Submit button. They will move on to the next forms to sign in similar fashion. Whenever a form is submitted, you will see the items in your mailbox, similar to when you receive a questionnaire. 
you will also receive an email when forms are submitted. From inside your mailbox, you will see the form. From here, you can accept it or you can review beforehand. If reviewing, you can go page by page and you will see that the form has been signed and dated. From here, you can send it back to the client if there were any mistakes or if everything looks good, you can accept it. By accepting it, it now becomes the latest version of the form located in their case profile. If we access the form inside the case, we will see that it is signed and when printing, the forms will have the signatures there as well. Lastly, just like the software log that you sign the form, the software logs when a client signs the form from the client portal. This verifies the authenticity of the signature because it will include who signed it, in what area, and lastly from which specific IP address. This concludes our video on e-signatures. Hit the subscribe button to be alerted when new videos come out and be informed of new features like this one. Thank you for watching.